Hello, Commander. We need to lock the third spec up. <laughs> let's just just in case, like let's, let's just make sure two specs only. Yeah. Um, but no, really, they're gonna send their their best player to the lowest metal uh, eco, and then have their what they both think is their lower player playing to get the eco, so that you know the the lower player just supports the stronger player, and the stronger player can kind of you know really focus on the one v ones. Now, if I had a pick between Oxide and Alpha, you know, I really couldn't say it's a flip of the coin and how the two were playing and how they're feeling, because that's a good one. Kazipko and Admiral General. My money's on Kazipko. I've seen him a lot more in the Uber standings. I think I've seen Admiral uh, usually high plat. So it's going to really depend also on how this map is set up. But that's besides the point. Marshall, here we go. Map point. Let's get it going. Uh, not necessarily. It's advantage to uh, the Marauders, certainly. But this map, though, e e e I've e seen Blaze before for some <laughs> reason. I think I know why, but it was because this is an alpha map. Blaze is an alpha-made map. Frosting, this looks like that 10v10 map. You remember that one with the giant, like, the two sections and there's the water ringer in the middle that Mikey made? I do know. Okay, never mind. All right, well, either, it's, it's, <laughs> it's cut in half. I mean... This it almost looks like a, a, a sort of space helmet from from one side. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, it's, <coughs> it's good joke. It's good joke. Um, well, it's kind of obvious how the spawns are gonna be working for Frost. I think I can ping the spawns for Blaze. I think. Uh, let me guesstimate. How is that working? I wanna go under the water there for a second. There we go. Anyway, <laughs> so how very curious. And we've got two asteroids from the get-go. I think those are the two spawns. Oh, that's that's very... Yeah, no, I think that's right, because it's symmetrical. Um, I think those are the spawns. Don't, you know, don't pin me on it. Let's say... Oh my god, I'm a wizard! Yo! Okay, cool. So, yeah, there we go. Um, one on Game each two. planet. Indeed. As predicted. Predictionation. So we have all right. So spawning on Blaze on the yellow side, we have uh, either Quizbico or Admiral General. I think this is Admiral General. I think Quiz is on the uh, ice, and then his opponent, I believe that is Oxide Ion um, on Blaze as well, and on Frosting because we're gonna just go through all this so we can kind of figure out who's who. I believe this is uh, Alpha on the. Uh, South Pole, and I believe this is Kazipko on the North Pole. Indeed. So we're going to have to follow these 1v1s separately, effectively, because that's what they're going to end up being. So let's have a quick look at the Ice Planet then, the 1v1, because it's going to be much more interesting over here, given this naval bit in the middle. Uh, and I think, given the way that the map has been made, docks don't actually have an entrance to the water, so it's going to be an air game, it's going to be a naval Air game. naval, mm-hmm. Or teleporters. So that's going to be a really interesting one. Are they going to hurry out a um, a pelican? I would be interested to see what they do with their their, their air factory on. It's a firefighter. Ooh, it's a, it's a yeah. Um, meanwhile, though, vehicles from round. That is an interesting decision. Drifters. I can drifters actually get over this lip in the water. On. We'll have to see. We're I gonna, don't okay, think so. just to remind, just to kind of help for the communication, say the map or say the the planet and then the color, just so that we can, you know, if I if I see, oh, we've got you know docks fighting docks in, you know, well where uh, we've got on the lava planet docks fighting docks, you think you're good, you know, just just so that we don't have issues here because I'm looking at docks attacking some fabricators right now on the lava planet for uh, yellow, yellow going straight after uh, two fabers, actually getting really into uh, Brown's face right now. There is there is a bomber in production, um, but Yellow very aggressive with their docks play. I mean, this almost looks like a forge map if they don't look at the rest of the planet. I mean, it's very close quarters. There's docks trading docks everywhere. And I think the Brown, the uh, Frosting, I think it's going to be a little bit more on the slow side. It does look like Drifters can get into the water and will be going across the water. So vehicles is an option, and we're actually about to... 
Yeah. They have teleporters up already. From, oh, really? Uh, from Yellow on the lava planet. So, yeah, Yellow Smart are going to be sending stuff to and from each other's bases. It looks like, huh? That's interesting. Boombots coming out from Yellow on Frosting. Probably gonna go to Blaze to help with a comm snipe or something like that. That's I like the decision. I mean, you, as long as you can turtle up your little island here on Frosting, why not? Oh, oh, double comm. No, that ain't... Wow, okay. I like this decision. This is gonna force a comm box with an extra commander and boom bots. They give up Frosting? Okay, sure, I think... They haven't given it up, though. All they've done is move their commander. They that's, still have that base there. That's ingenious. So They're gonna force a comm fight. Yeah. They're going to push their comms forward. That is a really good strategy there. I'm going to wait until I see perhaps orbital. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see the fruits of the labor first. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're going to have to manage this well. They've just revealed their boom bots though to the docks. So the docks are going to see where... the comm, I believe. Yeah. Well. Mm, oh no, well. they don't. I'm looking. They don't oh, they did. They did. They, just did. But they don't. They just see a comm. They don't know if that's. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's the other comm. They don't know the teleporters there, so all they know at this point is that there's not many well, bots in this. Well, they have radar vision. Yeah, they see the teleporter. They see the. Oh no, they see both comms now. Yeah. Good. Nice. Rashad takes care of them, but they know both comms are here. Um, do we see a reactionary teleporter? That's the real question. Uh, no. It looks. I, if this was me trying to defend against Yellow's move right now, I would just push super duper hard on Ice because they don't have the capabilities necessarily to defend against that. If you're if you if you catch them off guard, and right now there's a lot of drifters over on the Ice Planet. There's a lot of them, and if they all just push in on one side, all there is to defend are a few bots and boom bots. You know, as long as they can kill off like these fabricators that they successfully are doing and taking down all this expansion, then that's going to leave Yellow with only one planet, and it's going to potentially lead to a two-two-one victory. But you, right now, Yellow's Yellow's the prepping the bots though. Pushing out, yeah. yeah. I mean, the boombots though over here, the bombers, the bombers, the bombers. Nope. Nope. Commander says no. Com <laughs> the comms are starting to square each other up. Here we go. The fun's about to start. That com though. He is horrifically exposed, given the fact that there are boombots. That's a lot of boombots, too, my friend. As soon as Yellow sees that command, Uber Vision. Oh, gonna get in time. oh wait. Gonna get there in time. Yes, they do. This looks really he whiffed the Uber. Oh no, it, re it reloaded. Oh, wow. He reloaded. He, he used it to get rid of all those sparks. The boombots are waiting for that's, it, that's it. That's it. He's, he's dead. He's dead. Push in. He's gonna push in. He's gonna push in. Oh! oh get a wall up. Get a wall up. This is really hazardous for Yellow right Quiz now. Quiz failed to push! He's, in ex he's exposed! He's just backfired himself! Oh no, he needs to focus out there. He needs walls! Come in some more. He needs to back off, or at least do something. Get some turrets up or something. But the Boombot's just looking for that command. is so, so desperate. Good Uber save. They're just not getting the kills there. Trying what do we say to the Lord of families. Death? Oh my goodness, and... Oh. That was so close. Their plan so nearly worked for them. Well, has oh, it failed? Wow. The commander's Not still here. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they sort of knocked them back a couple of factories. They're pushing up with the commander on the other side, slowly but surely. ICE is still They're under still heavy contention, the though. There are some drifters. Just I have yeah, it open yeah. on the pip, just by the way. Yeah, me too. And the T2 bot's coming out on ICE as well, actually. Ooh, that's, I like that decision. I like some, the... There's some air landed in the middle of the pond, just, just there. I'm not quite sure. Yes. Hey, everyone likes to go swimming, okay? You know. <laughs> Not jet engines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little scared for this commander, though. I think he knows that's a lot of sparks, and there really isn't a lot of health for him to work with. So the moment the Browns saw the boombots and the two comms, they knew what was going on, and mm -hmm. they switched instantly to sparks, and that was such a good decision from them. Really good reactionary tactics there. Yellow needs to get a pelter up, though. I think that's their next step. Yes, they they failed the push, but now they need to kind of start sieging this well, base constantly. They they failed the comm snipe. They haven't failed the push because look, they've locked down this. Well, right, they haven't locked down. Right, the Illuminati they've, metal. They've, mm -hmm. they've got to the three metal points there. Oh, the pelter! The there it is. I, needs to move away. I told you, like first. I mean, you gotta get a pelter oh, up, or it's gonna get ugly. And oh, that comm's gone. He has to leave. There's no other choice. Yeah. The cheese has officially failed with that pelter going up now. Humiliation. Indeed. Now, we do have the commander on the other side starting to push himself. Uh, he's starting to grab some more metal. Teleporter going up. I, is the tier 2 vehicles done for... No, we do see... Oh, we do see orbital uh, play out of... Oh, my goodness. If we see an orbital go up, he can drop an anchor right on top of their uh, produ production. There's no other fabbers. 
commanders can't build uh oh radar yeah radar is always nice um but we don't see any sort of umbrellas they they would have to get an umbrella up incredibly fast but i don't believe commanders can build umbrellas by themselves can they no they can't they have to have a fab there to start it but um oh greedy greedy commander like, importantly, the T2 bots is almost finished on ice, so they'll be able to fight that back. But also on ice, they have an orbital faber. So we're going to have to start seeing, is that going to... Yeah, it's on its move. Where's it going to? It's going to... It's going to the... Uh, ac ac achromatic. Yeah, that word. I like it's the metal, nice and spaced out. You're never going to see really a lot of scrapping for it, but... It's, I mean, it's, a, it's a good place to have because it's actually not a very large planet. It's easy to lock down. It's easy to get up a whole bunch of production on there because, you know, there's a large amounts of areas where you don't have to clear trees, so you can just get a whole bunch of factories up there. And it's uncontested right now, so Brown really taking the initiative oh, and taking that land area. The second commander has made his appearance. So we have, <laughs> we have both comms on one planet now, which... Yeah. I mean, I like this decision out of the brown team. I think it was a little late. Um, I don't see the need for this commander now that... Oh uh, dear. This oh. one's taking some damage though, and he's in a really precarious situation. Yes, there are sparks versus sparks, but brown have the advantage Pelters. of the unit numbers. And they have the pelters there indeed. But the real thing are these drifters and sparks. All they need to do is push in, maybe go down one or two uber cannons, and that'll be really, really painful for them right there. They, I honestly think they just need to leave this uh, position. They can't push this, and I think once they've given up this planet, unless they can take frosting really quick, which they would have a lot of work cut out for them, it's that's that's not good. I mean, it's a really awkward position. They are about 130-ish metal down. Oh, hello! I spy with my little eye uh, some explosive little bits of sunshine working their way downtown. I think they're just going after the metal extractors. Oh no, this is scouting. Yeah, this is this. Comstype numero dos. Oh, these yeah, guys they, are making they, their way. Gonna try and go to the they army can't, though. They're sparks. Front. Oh, they know. They know. They, 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 yeah. I mean, interestingly, now we see two, two vehicles both on the ice and the lava planet here. As soon as those get rolling, there are levelers being produced now anyway, so as soon as those get rolling. This commander's still getting hit by the pelters. He is, yeah. But the levelers coming in, though, that will force that commander back. Meanwhile, though, there are the slammers coming through the teleporter, so it looks as though both the yellow and the brown team are using ice as their sort of factory and sending all the units to fight on <laughs> But the thing, the problem with that is they only have slammers. Slammers versus levelers, the, the levelers win, hands down. I mean, one, one, one for one trade, levelers will always win. The, uh, I don't, I mean, I think the bots was a nice knee-jerk reaction to try and get the advantage, but I think they should have gone vehicles. We do see on Frost, the production from Yellow, they are building more uh, bot factories going for boom bots specifically. I mean, they're just infinite building those. Um, but I, I just don't like this decision from Yellow. I think they really should have gone with the Tier 2 vehicles, because right now, with levelers coming out, slammers, yeah. that's just not a good trade. You can't fight that. And as soon as those oof, levelers present themselves, that commander is going to leg it. He sees the leveler. We'll probably see the pings come off shortly, uh, but the, 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 the players will certainly be saying, Oh my god, there's leveler, leveler. Slammers, those, those uh, sparks have to all, you know, sacrifice himself to save the sparks commander. Sparks pretty good against those levelers, though. That's a good number of sparks. Oh, do they not have energy? What's going on? Why are they not? What? Oh, there they go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the energy, though. Oh my goodness. They weren't ready for it. The biggest That's issue fine. with sparks is they do cost... Uh, they do cost energy on your own side. They have to reload with your energy, and if you don't have the energy for it, they can't fire. Slammer's saying hi. Bombers! It ain't about the slammers, slammers. It's all about the bombers, bombers. All about the unit deaths. I do like the red. All about the calm kills. Forget about the. Oh, oh, by the way, just, just by the way, um. On Acromatic, uh, Brown have gotten some air fabricators out. Actually, getting Icarus out, which are, I guess that's a choice. I mean, it's not that's, like it's a big deal. That's fairly safe. I mean, it's no one's contesting the planet, mm -hmm. and it's free energy, so it's free cheap energy. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a good decision. We do see <coughs> Frosting is now starting to take some serious damage on uh, Yellow's base. Effectively, they've lost all of the kind of outer lying metal extractors, and now are only building tier two on their basically the the five or six safe internal ones. Mm -hmm. So. Not down for the count, but definitely kind of gasping for some air right now because here comes on uh, Blaze. You gotta blaze it, son. Here come the levelers. <laughs> blaze your own trail with the levelers. 
Oh, Great. calm, you are running with the boom bots. <laughs> That's not... Um... Do we possibly see a yellow calm suicide kill to destroy some of the uh, expansion? <coughs> but does it matter though? Because I don't see what yellow can do here. They yeah. don't have the T2 production. They don't have the units to defend this base, and both of their commanders are currently stranded on this planet. With oh my goodness! So that teleporter dies. There. Both comms are stuck. What is this commander doing with his pinbox? It's a suicide comm. It's He's gonna run in, blow himself up uh, to. Oh, is, GG's. Yeah, it's, it's it's yeah. I was gonna say. GG's. Ripping. Good night, sweet prince. Down we go. Well. That was that was the end of the Clopsy. <laughs> Great ending. Victory goes to Oxide Ion and Alpha. And oh my God, the gong needs to die. Not a gong, it's a bell. Whatever. <laughs> Learn these things, Ghost. But ah, yeah. uh, it was an okay ending, I guess. But uh, an interesting system, actually. I'd like to see more 2v2s on that system, because certainly the way they played that, it could have gone so much different. If they'd have had success on that push the first mm -hmm. time round, and yeah, that was established it. that area, that would have been a very different game. The thing is, though, I think Yellow neglected Ice too much. And because they lost so much ground on Ice, they sort of let Brown just get a whole bunch of free eco and free reinforcement because that's the thing as soon as brown realized yellow weren't a threat to them on ice they could just send all their units through the through the teleporter to to lava because they realized that that's where all the fighting was going to happen that's where the game would be won and it it just all hinged on that that comp fight i think uh the the first shot i don't know if you were still in the game but the first shot that brown fired i thought yellow was going to just go in because that you know the commander has to reload the uber shot obviously so that would have been the perfect opportunity because there really weren't many units around the commander he was still kind of reeling from the fact that oh hello there other commander i wasn't expecting to see you today you know he was they were still kind of in the shock but once that you know that first fire uber cannon was fired now they were re you know units starting to reinforce the commander there were docks there were um, occasional sparks which obviously kind of do the job against boom bots and then once that the real kind of quote unquote attack came in it was just oh all right i mean it's going to it's going to suck and i mean it really came down to the, to the real counting game on the boom bots but he really he you know the uh the oxidion and the alpha 2546 they they pulled their weight in that uh comp fight and i believe it was oxide's commander and I'm I'm sort of surprised, you know, in the later game when we saw Alpha's commander show up on Blaze, but at the same time, I I think it was okay just to leave the commander on Frost. I mean, as you said, Yellow just kind of stopped trying on Frost, so there was no really real need to risk another commander to a snipe. Yeah. Well, that was the Clopsy two v two for the Numero eighteenth. Yeah. 18th, I almost said December, it's February, isn't it, really? Something like that, but, yeah. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, folks. VODs will be going up on respective channels in time, I'm sure. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Do leave any feedback in the chat, and I will pick, pick up on that, I'm sure. Hot Latch and Boy Ghost, I'll probably be streaming after this. I don't know if, Marshall, you're going to join me for that, but... I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll see. Hey guys, it's Ghost here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and make sure to turn up that audio because we're about to kick it.